All right, this is March 7th, 2018, and I'm giving an update on this um, aquarium observation hive I built this past year. They're doing really well. Um, I took the front cover off. See, it's laying right there. And uh, I looked in here, and uh, you can see they're building and expanding really well. So what I'm gonna do is pull the cover off and uh, add empty bars in the middle so they can continue to build straight and expand. As you can see, I have the cover off now and uh, there's the entrance I have cut into one of the top bars. And uh, like I said, or I may have mentioned, uh, I put these empty bars in the middle a couple of weeks ago, actually maybe close to a month ago. And see that? That's new comb they built, and that's new comb they built. And perhaps even that. So what I'm going to do while we're in the middle of a spring flow is uh, expand them even further. See, they're keeping the moisture level down in this hive right now, and they're keeping the floor pretty clean, uh, clean enough. You know, once it kicks into midsummer, that's a little bit tougher to deal with this, but I think once they're stronger, uh, they'll be a lot better prepared to regulate things in there. Once the humidity and high beetles start uh, kicking in more. So uh, let me put this phone down and uh, add a couple of combs in the middle, and uh, I'm gonna put the cover back on. All right, I was looking through here and uh, there's a new piece of comb they're building and uh, where did the queen, there she is. See the queen, the top right. All right, so what I'm also gonna do is uh, I already pulled this comb out. That's an older comb with a bunch, a bunch of brood, but uh, here's a newer comb they've just built in the last month. Look at that, half drone comb, half brood. It's hard to see with the sunlight reflecting in this camera. So I'm going to add a couple of empty bars in the middle and uh, let them keep going, let them expand and let them build straight. I guess this is what most of you call checkerboarding. Put one right there. And then I'll move a couple of combs down and uh, add another empty one. Okay, you can see the empty spaces in there now after I added the empty ones right there and right there. And they'll get busy on that. And uh, we got a spring flow going on right now, so they'll make quick work of that. And that's how you expand and keep comb straight, uh, especially with foundationless and uh, top bar hive. There's a ch chair in my way. Uh, but there they are, you know, about an hour later after the inspection, uh, doing an orientation flight. Some other hives. That's a really strong hive. Uh, 
That's the one I cut out from uh, under a mobile home about a month or so ago. They are doing fantastic. There's one I just split today into that little hive right there. Here's the shed bees I did last year. They're still going strong. And uh, that's a swarm I just picked up last night here in Lakeland. They swarm from a, a tree uh, into a tree that was real close and I had to go knock them down uh, with a bucket and a long pole. And the queen's in there laying like crazy. Um, I had to straighten their comb this morning. They were building, um, they were building all kinds of curvy, uh, crazy combs. So I had to adjust that before it went too far. Thank God I caught it. And uh, there's a hive I'm hosting for somebody else.